This week on Canada in the Rough, we're goose hunting the Hudson Bay coast. Paul Beasley is on a very unique waterfowl hunt in northern Manitoba with Eric Carlson of Federal Premium Ammunition. Their adventure encompasses everything from amazing wildlife encounters, fun fishing, and of course, great hunting. Join us this week on Canada in the Rough. We are here. After about 500 air miles, we finally made it here to the Casca Goose Lodge. It's located in northern Manitoba on the shores of the Hudson Bay. What a beautiful opportunity we have to get a few days of waterfowl hunting in, maybe a little bit of fishing and just enjoying a great adventure. Let's get hunting. Casca Goose Lodge is nestled near the mouth of the Cascadama River. The lodge boasts a large main cabin equipped with a full kitchen and dining area, along with separate guest cabins with all amenities to make for a comfortable stay from beautiful living rooms and comfortable bedrooms. President Randy Devell and his crew offer a very unique and exhilarating waterfowl experience as they hunt migratory waterfowl via a Bell Long Range helicopter. Canada geese, multiple species of ducks and snow geese can all be found in this area. And when you add in helicopter transportation, you have a waterfowl hunt unlike any other. Uh, every hunter knows the feelings of first day jitters and that's, uh, that's kind of what we got right now. We're, we're here with a very different waterfowl hunting experience. I've never done anything like this before. We're actually heading out by helicopter to go search the, the, the shores of the Hudson Bay lowlands and find these birds. And when we find a good group, we're going to set up nearby and then try to pull birds off of that group as the day goes on. So we're gone for the day, so we're, we're packing everything. Even though it's a long time till dark, uh, you basically need to have everything with you that basically if, if we had to stay there till dark, uh, that we'll be able to handle it. So. Kind of exciting, kind of nervous, not really sure what to expect. Don't know how many uh, boxes of ammo to bring, but uh, when you got a full day and, and very generous limits, like 50 snows a day, uh, eight Canadas, I think it's uh, eight, or, eight or 10 ducks. It's a lot of birds we can shoot, so should be a fun day. We're just getting packed up and we'll be uh, in the chopper before long. As they flew over the Hudson Bay lowlands, they were treated to some pretty extraordinary animal sightings, including swans, eagles, and black bears. When they reached the coast, they were lucky enough to come across several polar bears resting in cool sand pits. This area holds many bears during the summer months while they wait for the winter sea ice to form. Polar bears are minimally active and go without food during this time, unless an easy meal comes along. After watching a polar bear make his way into the frigid waters, the search for snow geese continued. Not long after, they found some large flocks and put the chopper down on a large flat and began their setup with help from longtime friend of Casca's, Bob Stewart. Nice. Got four of them. There we go. Oh, they're working perfect. Right on the deck. Yep. All right, ready? Get ready? Yep. Come on, boys. Four more just joined them. Let's focus on the front four. 
Okay, you ready? Get ready? Yep. Okay, take him. Good job, you guys. All right, we got the four. That was cool. Oh, look at those, eh? Yeah. Look at these so eagle heads. Beautiful. Nice, mature eagle heads. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful, bird? The wings yeah, on them are, are gorgeous. Some of nature's finest. Blue faced snow goose. Yep, nice and low. Coming in. All right, all right, get ready, get ready. Yeah, I'm ready. Take it. Nice. Get them all. <laughs> we got yeah, them all. Good going. <laughs> Our shots were almost like harmonious. <laughs> <laughs> The waterfowl in this area are in the process of migrating south for the winter. The abundance of food here, like the natural grasses and especially wild celery, are why the birds make a pit stop in the lowlands. From here, they will fly west and eventually south across the continent, following the central flyway. Bunch of birds up in the air all around us. Keep your eyes peeled. This flock coming in right low. Yeah, they're gonna come in. Okay, take them. Good going, guys. Out there, eh? Wow. As soon as they bang, they they flared. That yeah, wind that just took them. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You get one good shot. <laughs> Oh, wow. Look, you guys. You got a bonus. Ah, nice. <laughs> Wearing some jewelry. And even on a blue. Thank you. Well, that will be interesting to call that in and see where that's from. Yeah, really. Can't be too easy to find uh, banding locations. Jeez. Just a nice, big, beautiful bird. Look at his stripes on his head. Well, and I love the fact that with banding, you can find out their a approximate age, you can find out where they've been banded. You know, sometimes it tells you where they spend their winters or their summers, depending on where they're banded. Just awesome. All right, there's some birds to the right oh, right here. Coming in. They're trapped in nice. All right, now. Okay. A little bit of rain, a little bit of mist, and some birds are falling too. Beauty. Oh, come in right here, Eric. Right, yep, here they come. There's a good mix of blues and whites in there. All right, here we go. Okay, take them. Nice job, guys. Fun to watch. That wind just slows them right down. Yeah. Like it's, they take forever to cover that last little bit. Two coming. Okay, take them. Oh, God, God, God. Nice shot. Holy, they're humming, eh? That was fast. We're looking at this flock of snow geese and looking, there's a duck. I literally just had time to grab the gun, get the safety off, and wham. Awesome. As the second day of Paul and Eric's adventure began, they decided to throw a few casts into the river before the helicopter picked them up for their hunt. While it may get overshadowed by the waterfowl hunting, the brook trout fishing here is spectacular. After only a short time of fishing, the guys managed to land a number of beautiful brookies.
Shortly after, the guys were off for their second day of hunting, headed to a pit blind in a new area. Flock coming in hard on the left. Oh, yeah, there they are. Snows, too. Yeah. Now they're swinging. Yeah, they're coming in. Get ready. Okay, take them. <laughs> nice. Would have been nice if the whole flock had to come, but that pair just committed so nicely, it's hard to pass them up. The snow geese decoy him. Absolutely. All right, I'll go pick them up. Early. Can you believe that? Dang it. Oh, we got more coming behind us. Yeah, they're turning. They're turning. They're coming back. What do you think? Take the three or wait? I take what you get. Ready? Okay. Go. There's a triple. Good job. As the morning progressed, the flocks seemed to be feeding in other locations, so the guys decided to move spots for their afternoon hunt. It can be quite the cat and mouse game, trying to stay in front of the constantly moving migratory birds. All right, I hear some, they're coming straight up the pipe right here. Oh, geez, it's like they're coming in. They're already cupping. All right, you wanna take these four here on the left? Yeah, 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 they're looking good. They're committing. Oh, look at these, look at these lead, the, the six whites. Yep, yep. Yep, they're squaring up. Here, take the, take the snows right in front. He's right here, right in front. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. Did that not work <laughs> yeah. perfect? We were waiting for that all day. That was the largest, best decoying flock I think we've seen so far. Yeah, I agree. That awesome. was nice. Here comes three right down the gut. All right, ready? Don't want to take them. Nice shot, Paul. You too. That's two birds down. Oh, the other one's coming back. Yep. Nice shot. Oh, here they come. They're coming right over that tree. They're coming right to us. Yeah, call it. Right, take it. Wow, that worked well, did it not? Yeah, right before pickup. Yeah, hear the machine coming to get us, and there's the birds. Despite the rainy weather, the guys were excited for their last day of hunting. The winds had changed and the migratory flocks seemed to be up and moving, so the guys hunkered down and fired up the electronic goose call. 
Oh, here come some birds right front. Coming right at us. This thing's gonna be a flyby. Okay, you wanna fly, ready? Yep. Go! Oh, very nice shooting, Eric. Good job. <laughs> there we go. Oh, here's some right in front of us oh, here, geez. coming in. Okay, ready, okay, take him. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was fast that and was furious, awesome. eh? Oh, look at this. Reload, reload quick, reload quick. Come on, first come. Ready? All right, take him. Oh, nice shooting. You too, that was yeah. beautiful. I hear some. Oh, yeah, right over here, right behind us. Take it. Nice shot. Yeah, very good. I think I better go get those. That's a long walk. Look at, right over here straight ahead, look at that big flock of oh, birds lifting. Man, that's quite a few. That's a lot of birds. Let's see if they work some over this way. Oh, it looks like some are actually coming over here. Oh, yeah. Coming straight out. Yep. Ready? <laughs> oh, good shooting, buddy. Nice. Right? Awesome. Nice. We'll reload and get ready for the next one. Are you ready? Yep. Nice time. Oh, ducks start coming straight ahead. Oh, nice. Oh, they're coming fast and low. There we go. Ready? Yep. Ready? Take them. Oh, that was pretty fast and furious. Take them. Oh, let go. <laughs> Take them. Oh, good shot. That was so fast. I think. Oh. It's been a great hunt. A lot of birds flying. Today especially, eh? Mm -hmm. Like, we saw a lot of birds. It seemed like a lot were migrating. Made for a lot of pass shooting, which is a little more challenging, but mm -hmm. fun nonetheless. Mm -hmm. Well, that's good. Well, we got time, I guess, just to get packed up, really. I mean, got a few uh, decoys to put down, get this blind to take down, and we'll Go home and have a warm dinner. Sounds great, let's go. All right. Well, there's not too many places that you can come and enjoy such a diversity of excitement. This week has truly been all about a lot of firsts for me. We've seen polar bears and wolves from the helicopter riding by chopper out into the Hudson Bay lowlands to pick your spot. There's no X out there for hunting these waterfowl. You pick your spot, you try to get in a flight path, you try to bring some birds into the decoys. It, it's really, it's, it's, it's a game of chess almost. And uh, some days you win, some days you don't. With migratory birds, that's what it's like. But we have truly had an incredible time time. You know, to be able to come out and enjoy great hunting, great camaraderie back at camp with great food. Oh my goodness, the staff here, they're very professional, they're amazing. We've just truly had an incredible adventure. And I encourage any of you that if you ever have the chance to come to this part of Manitoba and enjoy a great waterfowl hunt like this, you've got to do it. I'm your host, Paul Beasley from Canada in the Rough. Remember, enjoy the greatness of Canada. Be proud of your hunting heritage. Hey folks, hope you enjoyed this video. For more great videos and content, please subscribe to our page and let us know in the comments what you'd like to see. And to follow our amazing adventures around Canada, please join us on Facebook and Instagram.